uh, saves us from doing the research. I mean, hey, thank you, all you, for, uh, for getting that up up there for us. It's super helpful. 100%. So now, here we are, losers quarterfinals. We got Mudez versus Ananthema. Mudez in losers, by the way. So, yep. going to be their last shot to try to get into the losers semis okay. and hopefully losers finals after that. But still, very, very strong start for Mudez right now. Yeah, we are bringing the fire back into Mudez's play. Uh, Anathema has to play a little bit more patiently, has to slow down the pace of this match because it looks like Mudez is out for blood. Yeah, and understands that Rob, like I said uh, earlier, uh, with, with the, the last time that Anthem played the safe pressure, right, with the aerials. And this is going to be something that, you know, Mudez has a lot of experience with playing uh, Zamba, you know what I'm saying, playing other Robs in Texas. And so far, like I said, had to be just waiting, just be like, yo, I can actually do whatever I want with this. And literally sniping them out of the back air. And Mudez cooking right now with a very, very big one. Okay, yep, Tomahawk grab, and now we're starting to get some good mix-ups from the jump. Mudez going straight back to center stage and hanging out, waiting for some of these projectiles, and then Anathema doing the same, another Tomahawk. Yep, I love the no mash, uh, the no mash mix-up as well on the berry. I've seen a lot of footstools out of shield in this top eight, I'll say. Uh oh, oh, Mr. Saturn? Oh, he's gone. Okay. He came, he like, he like, he came right, to visit out. for a little bit. But he he's like, like, all right, you got one. You get one, buddy. I'm so out. He said, Rob? Nah, bro. <laughs> I'm out, bro. I ain't holding shield. What you talking about? I can't deal with this. All right. And now he is. I love the double empty hops from you days, man. Never let your opponent know your next move, uh, but get up attacking a force away that rotor arm. Teaching an athlete. You can't just be throwing that out willy nilly on the ledge. Yeah, and honestly, making like an Anthem Shield has to have him just like super uncomfortable. Wow, and that conversion literally getting like shield poked at like the, the, the very, very bottom of the feet. Right, and that's the thing. You know, this is the problem with Rob. You can angle that shield up as an Anthem is looking for to uh, avoid some like the low, the low float nares and bears and stuff like that. But guess what? You know, your feet are, uh, or well, whatever that thing is on Rob's feet is uh, pretty vulnerable. Wow, and 164 still not going away here. Gyro in hand and trying to do some shenanigans with it and an anthem of catching him with the dare. Yeah, we'll do the same option twice, I promise. Wink, wink. Go. Well, we'll back here right there and now. New days. Okay, yeah. Kind of, New Days was just kind of letting them, like, Anathema just, like, sit over here and, like, go, like look, you want to, like, kind of flail around, like, right. around me and, like, you know, take up all that space, then I'm going to let you go ahead and do it. I'm waiting for you to land so I can do, like, the thing, so I can do my combo and it's with my BS. Right. It feels like they are giving each other a wide berth, a lot of respect for the options of the other characters' kit. This time we see good projectile play from Anathema. Steven's starting to heat up, but then gets too greedy looking for something, and Mudez covers the platform so well. There we go, and okay. immediately answering back, Anathema. Near the back oh, here. Mr. Two. Saturn coming back for the second visit. What's up? And immediately out of there. Yeah, he, he did not want to he did not want to deal with Rob right now, but you can see all the, the shield pressure starting to pay off again. Anathema doing the right thing of trying to angle that shield up, but Mudez will be looking for the mix-ups as well. Uh -oh. Wow, getting hit with the same mix-up and just a little turn-up at it on the side here and sniping him with the turn-up and out of the air and literally Ooh, all of the normals and literally caught the boosters with the tiara, Mudez, and says, let's go again, bro. Wow, crown to thruster, and that's going to be a game one win for Mute. Looking pretty good. It felt like the, uh, the combos are flowing. Nathema unable to really find some of the disengages that he needs to keep himself relevant in this game. Like uh, like I said earlier, Mude is finding himself clutch, right? Really solid in just pressured situations. And even though they were trading back and forth, they still had the wherewithal to be like, hey, I'm just gonna remain here. I understand that Rob is like hitting all these buttons in front of me and trying to like do all, do all this, you know, this movement. If I find, if I deem it unnecessary, then I'm not gonna try to reciprocate. Okay, trying to go for a little mix-up. I like it. 77% off two exchanges. Ouch, that hurts. Yeah, that's the peach combo in a nutshell. You know, you might not even be able to get it on Mia, but uh, Rob, this is a very different beast. Projectile versus projectile, and Gyro sitting there unable hey, to help my you. God, bro. Three turnips and a crown, and it's over. 
and just having the presence of mind to like go down there, throw it, and then get the follow up right here. And now has has him air dodging twice in yeah. the middle of space. Has him actually really, really scared. Yeah, I'm really scared of that double spot dodge. Like you're like, oh my god, please get away from me. Steven playing a little scared, and then going right for it. Okay, a lot of lasers, especially like right in the right in Mutace's face. Not afraid, at least in this situation, or maybe he is. Maybe that's oh, a panic option. I don't know. Yeah, we saw that Mutace was literally just trying to go for the most optimal punish, but you know the arm rotor having a. A little bit more, you know, uh, not having that much recovery on it. Okay, shot calling starting to uh, pan out. You just kind of have to pick your shot super wisely. Mutes forcing out these up smashes and the road arm just enough. Mutes couldn't delay long enough. Oh, wow, that movement for that dodge right there, literally now putting him in disadvantage. Each micro spacing is so scary when optimized. Okay, the roll in caught, but it's uh, side to side, so it won't do too much. Now you have to float your way back, and yeah, it's a it's a very horizontal approach back. Anathema is gonna know where to find you. Okay, another footstool, just try to get back out. Doesn't want to get caught by some of those anti airs yep. that Mutes has been so good at catching. Why if we see Mudes right here just kind of just sitting there just like, look, man, I know you want to hit, but Sprout and was waiting for that optimal time, waiting for the jabs, but still, 110. And Mudes, don't want to turn him up. The set oh. play, wow, and you are literally sandwiched right here, Mudes. Yeah. I mean, that's why we set up those options because, you know, if you catch one, you can catch many more. Mudes going just beyond the range of the gyro, fights back with the fair, and now the roles are reversed here on ledge. Go Mudes, just staying within platform distance, daring him to just make a move. Able to get back in the center stage, trying to get back to Gyro here, and uh, just air dodges off stage. No, you get the floating back air is on the way, and gets a throw for his troubles, aiming the lasers down and getting a fair. Actually, not a bad game plan. Is trying to get going off stage, trying to get Mudes to inch closer to the ledge, and then once you get back up, you, it's, it's a lot less distance. You got to cover the blast zone. Still, Anathema can't play out there forever. Now, even though we have a 100% lead, it's uh, very close to losing the second stock on Mute. And Nathan needs one edge guard to clean it up. Oh, wow, but didn't hold for long enough. The down smash is going to be able to take that stock. And now, even, even, even between these two, Anathan are trying to get a game on the board. And this is where uh, we're going to see that clutch factor of one of these characters show up here. And Mutes is really, really patient, in, especially in high percent situations. But Anathema has been known to just close out the situations really, really fast with one of these quick gyro combos. Mutes defense has been absolutely crazy right now. But I will say, you know, sometimes when uh, he's looking for the out of shield option, it's not always working. Anathema is starting to get forced back to ledge again. It's the damage that I'm worried about. Here we go, and uh, Nanthema has to find their way back, in the, back into the middle of the stage so they don't end up getting the last trap, but here they are again. And Nanthema paying right in that corner, but the turn oh, of oh, doing oh. the gyro's job right here, getting carried. Very nice. Budget gyro going to help you out. Say, all right, I'll take that. I can use that the same way. Gyro versus turnip. Going out for a throw. Still not a kill option here. 173 post throw. Reset. I thought I saw that air dodge. I wasn't sure if Anathema was gonna go back in with the gas. Wow, so dangerous with the positioning right here. And literally all the empty hopping and trying oh, to find something okay, here. Okay. Peach doing the dance right in front of you, trying to. Oh my uh, God! Something here again. The forward throw won't be enough. Just sets up for an off stage reset. Yep. One more edge guard. New Day's trying to be as patient as possible. Know that they can blow up at any moment and literally these flow cancels to grabs. But <laughs> uh, the mash out, perhaps? All right. Almost 200%. New Day's. That has to be so. Oh my goodness. That's frustrating. All these, all this meandering of movement, all the empty hopping, like. And Anthem were looking at this like, yo, I've had enough. Let me just throw up smash, see what happens. Just stand literally. still enough smash. Why? Are like, you done? All right. <laughs> Here's what I got. And uh, Anathema looking very, very clean here against uh, Mutes. It was it was starting to run away from him a little bit, but I love the clutch factor. I love the patience. I love that he just let Mutes kind of put himself in a, in a vulnerable state. Yeah. Like go, go a little bit too crazy uh, and box himself out. Yeah, the, mu the movement was getting a little too zesty. So 
uh, literally, like, and Anthem was just putting it into it right there. I'm not sure if the if that up smash was absolutely calculated, but you know, throwing it out when you're like in the resounding area just worked out for him. So, because <laughs> Steven's holding shield in the right areas, so it's not like that that quick short hop, short hop, like fast fall, right. and then maybe a back air is gonna do too much other than just like one hit of shield pressure. Anathema is still doing really, really well, but we're taking it to small battlefield, so. I mean, this is going to be interesting. Oh, this is uh, this is Smashville actually, and this is the first time we've seen this like all tournament so far. And yeah. hey, like uh, the small blast zones, you know, saying this is this is kind of what Peach, it, this is what both characters want. So, but you gotta that sword cuts both ways. Exactly, and covering both high and low, New Day is going to get at least one something for his money here. Nathma firing back with another of the aggressive approaches, just a quick fair, one of those great fast aerials that challenges New Day's in the air. Ooh. Yeah, but he said, uh, not twice, Bucko. Sorry. Yeah. Not a chance. Looking for an up throw, and then clanks with the, the turnip. And I will say, like, Anathema's challenging of the turnips has been really good. He's catching a lot of them. He's clanking with the rest. Feels like turnips have not been a, a super prominent issue uh, in his recoveries. Wow. Just uh, let him have it, huh? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Hey, it's not random if it uh -oh. hits. Uh-oh. It's uh -oh. not random if it uh -oh. hits. It's not random if it hits. Okay, we got a lot of damage here. Almost 70% on the board. It's just going to make Mutes have to work even harder in this game. And all of a sudden, Mutes is just getting hit with what seems like uh, the most like weird things, but literally an anthem of being cold and calculated and literally getting an 86% lead after that, uh, that stock was taken, after that big combo. Okay. Mutes just has to wait for Anathema to get off of the ledge of his own accord. He can't really challenge the ledge hang too much uh, for fear of getting caught by a uh, drop up air or something else. These stage uh, edges really lend themselves to that kind of stuff, but we're still going to get the first stock, albeit 95% later. Here we go, getting here with that out of shield in there. Try to reset the situation, and Mutes trying to just take it easy. Knows that he has to hit one combo to at least put them at 50%. But okay. Well, yeah, we are going for a lot of stuff. The delay is still working out here. Are you? We, okay, we're not done yet. Here we did here. And once again, the disadvantage using the gyro to their advantage. New days. Here we go. Yes, the empty hops and the grabs are working out for them beautifully. And literally, like the flow cancels. Being really, really tricky with the movement here, and then Anthema doesn't have a leg to stand on. All of a sudden, it seems even, even, even. And I was wondering when the top and the turnip were going to come back down. Yeah. Both of them coming back down at the same time here. But another back airing, keeping an Anthema in disadvantage. Mute Ace with the comeback on the stock. Yeah, Anathema playing super carefully. Uh, he is going to preload some of those delayed aerials like Nair and back air. He wants to make sure he's at the proper spacing where Mudes can't just Peach Bomber in, use the burst movement tool uh, that Peach has to get in. We are going to find the air dodge caught by the down air, and no holding in enough to save yourself. Mudes just falls to his doom. It's crazy because, like, the oh my okay. goodness, the Nair going to do the job right there and now, even, even, even between Mudes and Anathema. All right, yep. Quick, just trying to do something here. Runs back at, right back in, able to follow up uh, Mutes' movement. Yep, we see the gyro cancels in. Oh my goodness, the right. combo that he's been waiting for. Is it too deep? No, it's not. Here we go. I mean, Rob can just go way down there in the blast zone and completely uh, make Mutes have to drop what he's doing and, and completely reset. Here we go, more up airs. Like once once that mark has been hit at the fifty percent, and Anthem has been really really good about not getting combos, but like this lead the movement by these two, and then like the fact that like you know they get caught by the one errant hit and then oh. sent away, and that cancel was crazy on the movement. Okay, yeah, very close to hitting that fast fall fair for a ledge coverage option, and the parries have been really good for Mutes, but I'm unfortunately thinking that the follow ups are just not there enough for you to capitalize. Catching him with that and literally just a mash out and literally jumping away so, you know, no follow up like an up air is uh, following it. And here we go. And we can send him off stage five times out of five with the forward throw, but if you're not able to secure it, if you're not able to clinch this stock out, then 
And it feels like Nathema will break away with a 2-1. Wow! Lead, but no, actually no kill screen. We've got a scramble, and it looks like Mudace is going to be the victor of the game. Leads a 2-1. And Mudace with a big, big sigh of relief. Like, that whole, like, match, that whole game earlier was just kind of just, like, seeing, like, who's going to have the better positioning here. Right. We saw that in Anthem, it kind of had an advantage in some aspects just because, like, the, the hitboxes for some of his attacks right. are so wide, and it covers such a wide area, and it just happens to catch Peach yeah. in, in, in these certain areas. But right. literally the resilience of New Days, even though he was getting caught by these things, has held them steady and able right. to get this game and go into a game four yeah. with an opportunity to seal this game four. Yeah, it was looking like a slow burn, similar to how we saw it in game two ending. Uh, just a little bit of a slowdown of the pace, and, and Mute is just sending Anathema off time after time, but unable to really get something here. In this situation, it's a DI check. You, you end up dying off of a scramble like that. I'm okay with that, uh, but yeah, I think that Mute is, that's a reason we go to like a smaller stage like Smashville for game three. Yep. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Mute Ace and Anthema. Mute Ace up by one in this game four situation, and now. He's not. This is not the small stage that uh, we were looking at the last one. This is going to play right into Anathema's game plan. Got to be careful. I think, uh, well, both of these characters actually just have been just really, really good with just getting stuff off stage. Yeah. So. I think it's gotten to a point to where, like, hey, like, if you're if you're lingering too much off stage, like, we're we're gonna come and get each other. So that is true. But in terms of off stage supremacy, I mean, Rob clearly has it because he has the the best disengage to go way beyond where Mutes can follow. Um, Mutes doesn't have that same power. Uh, he just has to force Anathema to make a few mistakes here on on stage. But so far, it's been pretty smart stuff. Go and literally, uh, excuse me. Both these characters, three stocks, still kind of jockeying for position in the middle and taking each other's items away. New days, kind of just trying to gotta keep positioning right here in the middle and not going to be able to snipe him with the uh, with the gyro up in the air. And now, once again, like this middle is going to be super, super uh, like integral to the match, the whole for both characters. Yeah. You're absolutely right, Banjo. I mean, it feels like right now that gyro throw up has been a, a thorn in both players' sides. But Anathema, he is the owner of the tool, and he knows how to use it to his best ability. But it's these up smashes that are just not finding their marks. You're not getting the scoops, and New Days is getting the shield discipline uh, to avoid it completely. Now we find the wherewithal to get that uh, big nair on, sh uh, on ledge. Very good stuff. We go Mew Days in control, but this has kind of been a seesaw of stocks, really, and that movement right there is what Anathema has literally been just catching New Days with over and over again. Doesn't have to worry about the exact accuracy of, of, of the attacks, but, like, you know, just as long as they're in the area, like, it's still a threatening thing that they happen to get hit by Reaper benefits. Right. Anathema having to use some of uh, Rob's little options, but finds a lot of leverage off of it. He gets a forward smash. Uh, an unexpected option for both New Days and myself. It is now holding shield up, angling it so he doesn't get poked on the top, just in the same way that we've seen Anathema doing the same. Here we go, and literally just the shield pressure. Now we see that New Days, even on ledge, is right here, pushing, forcing the issue, and kind of just wants this to be done with. But Anathema, and we know how dangerous this is, on stage, kind of just baiting the double jump here, but the Nair to get back on it. Mudes understands that, you know, the, the arm rotor might have been a factor in that, but no, the no mash right here, but gonna get up okay. aired and not gone quite yet. Yeah, chance time gonna work out for Mudes. Good DI on the Rob up air, still looking pretty good. I mean, even though the percents are looking more even by the second, we've got a third, a third Saturn. All right. Mr. Shatner's still back on stage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. about to say, oh, no. <laughs> Whoa. The sent him back and then sent Mutes right back with him. Yeah, the arm rotor literally just lingering a little bit uh, a little bit longer than it should have. And now. Oh, yeah. The game five chance were coming out from the crowd, but Mutes looking for an end to this second stock expeditiously. Yep. Forward throw, we've seen it so many times, but it, it's not the kill throw you need. Right, and as long as just, oh, well, well never mind. <laughs> All right, we got Getting it. Getting hit with the TR right there. So now a one-stock situation. Anathema trying to just stay alive in the set right here and looking Ooh. for the big combo. Turn up in hand. Oh, and we saw that Mudez was going for that Twitter clip. 
that Twitch clip that he's been so famous for uh, at Rewired Fest. And uh, but it's not over yet. We might get a quick uh, second chance at that clip. All the damage the Tomahawk grabs. Anathema has, has had the shield discipline to avoid so many of these things, but now the mix-ups are taking hold. Here we go, hit, hitting him with the turn up right here and literally up air, and now the Tierra able to shield it. Big punish on the way, no. Okay, Time. yeah, looking for a Nair. Looks like Mude is gonna be able to catch that preloaded option. 160, time is running out. Anathema goes high, trying to avoid all of the turnips. Good maneuverability, goes back in with a Nair. What do we got? Full rage drop, oh, and wow. it's gonna and hit yeah. him in the back of the head with the Nair. KO, Anathema is going to go out of the tournament and Mute Ace is going to move on in bracket to loser semi.